Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 and the conclusion of this replay. Oversky now moving around with those units. Overlord sitting over here. Glade, uh, is in, Glade is in a little bit better of the situation right now. Does not, oh, has rebuilt that Spire and also has that Queen back up. Has a couple Overlords also trying to generate creep around the map. But those, oh, those Mutalists are going to in fact be able to harass um, very, very effectively. There are in fact still a couple Hydralists down over here. Nidus Network now trying to be built. It really depends on that Nidus network. If the Nidus network does is somehow able to get up in time and able to perhaps plant itself in the base of Glade, there is nothing that really Glade can do about it because it's an even number of Mutalists against those Hydralists and perhaps even deciding to send in some drones as well. So Overlord's now going to be moving over there. Nidus network taking um, 10 seconds to build. So this is prior to the 22nd um, patch that was recently released on March 12th. In comes these overlords. Overlords now trying to move around the map and Glade Oversky going to try to, or Glade going to try to focus down as many of these overlords as he can, but this is going to be really, really dangerous for over or for Glade. Now Zerling's trying to move in as well, trying to tr trying to drop in, and now in comes that single overlord. We have a Nidus network, Nidus worm now coming in the position, trying to move back away. Zerling's now, Zerling's quickly popping that back out, and down goes that Nidus network. So Nidus network getting destroyed, but a Nidus network quickly spawning back over here. Are those units going to be able to spawn out in time? Mutal is now trying to come out, and not Mutalist trying to focus down. Hydralist already popping out. How many Hydralists are going to in fact be able to make it out? And a fair number of Hydralists are in fact able to make it out. Mutalist getting destroyed. Hydralist trying to fight back. And it looks like Oversky with that Nidus network is going to be able to pull off the victory as there are now five Hydralists against the rest. And five Hydralists now in the base of Glade. No additional units. No additional units in that Nidus network. Perhaps the Queen should try to even throw herself in there to try to gain in on that fight. Zergling's now trying to come in, trying to fight back against Glade, uh, what the Nidus Worm down to three hit points down it goes, and Glade I think is going will be able to continue to take this. There is not much left income wise for Oversky, nothing left in the Nidus work network. Army size is 650 compared to Glade's 500. Where is the rest of these units? Uh, no, oh Hydralis have been burrowed. So those Hydralis are in fact burrowed, trying to heal back up. They do not have fast regeneration like. And roaches do so that is going to change the game significantly we have a couple zerlings just sitting around over here just trying to wait another nidus network spawning around somewhere t trying to um, look for it perhaps yeah right over here so that night but that nidus network pretty much has nothing in it roaches now in, in position roaches trying to shoot down those particular um, drones and if you can burrow those units once again uh, able to burrow these units and then sp um, pop back in so very nicely done glade needs to morph in some sort of some sort of new unit, or sorry, uh, morph in an overseer in order to be able to um, spawn or um, spot these low hit point units. Oversky still has a couple Hydralis sitting over here, very, very low on hit points. Gonna go ahead and try to spawn back out, try to take down this Mutalist. It's gonna be a 3v1 fight, and that um, Mutalist down to one hit point gets taken down, and now trying to go after some of these overlords. So it's gonna be a very, very micro intensive battle. Hydralis once again is uh, popping back in, taking a look at the Nidus Network. Nidus Network still has a fair number of units out, and we, once again we have another Nidus Network. Nidus Network being used, um, being um, um, uh, using um, that Hydralis as a spawning, um, as a site, and now Roach is coming back out. Roach is wanting to take as, or deal as much damage, trying to take down that Queen. Queen going to get taken down. Hydralis needs to burrow himself once again. Uh, Hydralis quickly getting taken out. Roach is trying to focus down as much as they can. Overseer in the air, going to be able to spot these Roaches. Roaches are desperately trying to fight back, desperately trying to fight back, and Oversky has left the game. So Glade wins. GG for Glade. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, what accidentally became a three-part replay between Oversky and Glade here on Desert Oasis.